Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Joe with Jono Cigars, flanked by the young gentleman cigar aficionado, a good buddy of mine, and one of my uh, favorite cigar smoking companions in that he has a pretty developed palate. Oh, thank you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a buddy of mine, Joe, and he is going to be joining Jono Cigars for the first ever first time. time to do a review. Here. Yeah, so uh, glorious day. It is. You could say this is a day of glory. You could say that. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you know, that's what we're smoking today. The Dias de Gloria, what do you which know? translates into Days of Glory <laughs> in Spanish. This is another Nicaraguan pearl by the wonderful A.J. Fernandez. And uh, this is a Toro, the 6x56, pretty hefty Toro. Uh, soft box press cigar with a nice red foot ribbon and a cedar sheath. There's a lot going on in this uh this sure is banding on this one. Lots to look at. Yeah, I like the uh, I like the picture of uh, uh, of Our Lady being assumed into heaven, surrounded by angelic hosts. Yeah. In the heavens there, and we take this uh, cedar sheath off, and we see a pretty nice looking wrap. Uh, pretty smooth. Uh, kind of feels like a kind of like a uh, cross between velvet and crepe paper. Really do like the uh, soft box press on this one. I have always found that box press cigars tend to facilitate a nice, even, relaxed draw. So that's what we are going to be hoping to find when we start the smoking of this particular blend. Pre-light aromas, we've got uh, kind of a light caramel and hay. You picking anything else up? Yeah, some light chocolate. Yep. A little bit of coffee. I'm getting, I'm getting light coffee off of the foot. Very nice smelling. Yeah, not a whole lot of tooth or oil, but it is a nice feeling, well balanced feeling cigar. Can't wait to try another one. This is a, I've never had this one by Adrian mm. Fernandez. So this is a brand new experience for me. This will be a first. Let's get these cut, toasted, see what we can find out. Right away, I'm loving the draw. Very nice draw. It's got just a hint of resistance, enough to know that there's some body in the cigar, and you're not just kind of sucking through a straw. Yeah. And uh, the smoke output is fantastic. So, Joe, what are you picking up on the first few puffs here? I'm trying to put it to words. I'm not. I'm getting. Um, I think it'd be a little bit of rosemary. I think sage is what you were. Yeah, I too. I actually was picking up on the cold draw, and actually a little bit here, kind of a buttery sage, herbal sort of quality. I'm also getting some cedar, and there's some spice to it, man. You're getting yeah. it immediately on the draw, and it lasts on the finish, but it is lingering on the palate. Yeah, it a is. long time, and it's kind of reminiscent of like a cayenne pepper sort of spice. It's a good word. Yep. At a lot of savory hints of sweetness, but it's it's incidental. The primary palate that I'm getting right about now is kind of an herbal, and savory, spicy sort of. Yeah, I'm getting the same thing. Category at this point. Very right. pleasant. I'm not normally a spicy guy, but this is this is smooth and pleasant. Yeah, when it's balanced, I love the spice. Yeah. All right, we'll let this go until we get a little further into the first third. We will see you then. Uh, 10 minutes in, well into the first third. A very good burn and an incredible yeah. ash on this one. Very nice. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Joe, what are you picking up on this first third so far? Well, this is the first time I've ever gotten this flavor, but I'm getting a little bit of a lemon. Just a, lemon? Yeah, a little citrusy. Like lemon. lemon juice or like lemon zest? Probably a little more of a zest, I would say. Okay. But definitely that, just a slight lemon flavor. There is some tartness in here. Yeah. There's like an acid tartness in there, and I can suddenly see, I would have thought orange, but lemon actually I think is probably mm -hmm. more of a better observation. I'm know? also getting kind of a salty chestnut coming through in there, and uh, it's got kind of a woody quality to it as well. Still getting a lot of that sort of cayenne spiciness on the tongue. For sure. Last on the finish. Although on the finish it's not quite as sharp. It's kind of mellowing out a little bit mm -hmm. now. I really do like the body. It's a nice buttery feeling medium body it's got a nice feel on the on the tongue after you have blown out your smoke and it's nice I, i'm it's liking nice. it a lot retro hail at this point Ooh, you get a lot more spice and zest yeah picking up some lemon zest 
and some more uh, that cayenne red pepper spice on that retrohale. But it's very balanced. But uh, boy, is it is it is a bright one. It is. It is. All right, all right. We'll get back to you as we get about midway through the stick. We will see you then. Whoa, there goes my ash. We are exactly halfway through these cigars. Midway point, just lost my ash. I'm gonna pick that up and put it in the ashtray. All right, we are about uh, 40 minutes in. Halfway through the stick, like I said. I'm gonna take this first band off so I don't start burning it. All right, still incredibly smooth. The spice has really died down on the finish and on the draw. Uh, Mr. Joe, what sort of things are you picking up here as we are in the middle of the to uh, pick up some nutty flavor. Um, it's like a light walnut, I think. And that uh, the woody taste is coming through nicely, too. Now the spice is kind of subsided. Yeah. I am getting, um, it's still kind of a chestnutty wood sort of characteristic. Kind of borders on a light oak. Um, but I'm also getting uh, some nice toasted bread nuances. Yeah. And on the shifted to a nice bright white pepper and I'm still getting some citrus zest on there as well too. Mm. Still love the body, it's a great medium body right down the middle of the gamut there. And the draw and burn ash are all performing fantastic. Perfect. Yeah I got a really nice his nice ash burn is going. actually his burn was going a little bit better than I I had a little bit of canoeing in that first third. Um, didn't have to touch it up, just set it down on the ashtray, corrected itself just fine. So really liking this one a lot. Nice and smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Still got a nice buttery, sort of a warm brown butter sort of texture. Liking it a lot. We'll catch up with you as we get towards the uh, end of the stick. We will see you then. All right, we are an hour and 20 minutes in, into the final third. I am getting some nice florals, kind of reminiscent of hibiscus and honeysuckle. Uh, I'm getting dry leaves, peanut shells, an uptick in the oak, and also getting some nice white pepper spice. It's not as spicy as it was in the first third, and it's a different type of texture of the spice. Before, we were getting a very kind of spicy uh, cayenne pepper in that first third. Spice basically went away in the middle third, and now it's creeping back, kind of a bright, somewhat zesty white pepper. Wow, I'm actually starting to get some cinnamon and cedar. I like it. Mr. Joe, what are you picking up in this final third? Well, I had a very unusual flavor that came through. Uh, I've never had this before, but I picked up a little bit of honeydew towards the uh, last bit of the cigar. Now, that's, oh. a, that's a fun flavor to experience. It, it really is. Um, but it falls in line with I've been picking up honey all throughout. And then, yeah, a little bit of a melon uh, came out. Interesting. That's very enjoyable. Yeah, I've never had that before. All right, so this being your first time, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna. I always give my guests smokers the chance to give their scores first. So, what were your impressions, and what would be your final score on this cigar? Overall impressions, uh, very impressed. Smoke output's been great. Draw's yeah. been perfect. Mm -hmm. Burn has been perfect yeah. all the way through. Um, transition has been very nice. I'm gonna have to say mine is. Milk. Probably four and a quarter puffs. Four and a quarter puffs. Yeah. I'm crazy. almost in lockstep with you. Uh, I I am going to give it four and a quarter puffs myself. I, I think it certainly warrants it. It's an above average stick, so it's going to be more than four. Uh, the most enjoyable thing about this was how carefree the burn and the draw was. The ash was still great. It was great ash. Very nice and strong. Even with all this breezy wind we've been having here. It's held strong. Been holding very nice. And I like the flavors in here a lot. This isn't my favorite wheelhouse of flavors. Um, and medium body smokes tend to be my least favorite. Uh, I love the mellows and I really, really love the big and bold, full bodied stuff. And this is not even, in its own right, this is a fantastic cigar that I will sure. definitely smoke again. I would too. And it's not just because I'm biased towards AJ Banana stuff. I just I think the cigar will. Well, well thanks. Thanks so much.
Thanks so much, everybody, for joining us for the third of the AJ Fernando AJ Fernandez Cigar Reviews here in the month of April. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bottom right icon in the right corner of the screen to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications every time I release a new video. Also, check out my Instagram handle, at Jono Cigars, to see all their written reviews of cigars that I don't have time to do full video reviews of. And if you feel so inclined to support this channel, head over to the Smoke a Good One shop. All of the merchandise that I've designed for you to help yourself as well. Uh, stuff like this awesome t reminding you of how to be a true friend. <laughs> Until next time, everybody, stay safe, stay warm, and smoke a good one. Hey, thanks for watching Jono Cigars. If you like this cigar video and all things cigars in general, you might want to click on this head right here to subscribe to my channel and get notifications every time I release a new review or any other video for that matter. And if you like this video, you'll probably like this one that YouTube randomly picked out for you. Yeah, check that one out.